Hey, what's up guys, Ricky with Pexels here, and today I'm gonna show you how to turn a simple photograph, one frame, turn it into a video by kind of animating it and just bringing it into a video editing platform, which today I'm gonna be using Premiere Pro, but I'm gonna take you step by step, and I feel like this is a good way to spice things up if you're a photographer or just like taking pictures, and also it's a good way to practice if you don't have any previous experience video editing. So let's hop over to the computer so I can walk you through the edit that I made specifically for this video. All right, so I chose a shot that I took in beautiful Berlin, Germany of a television tower. I just wanna walk you guys through the final edit instead of dragging you along from the very beginning, so check it out. So super short and simple, but I still like it better than just having the one image with the one needle down the middle. And I really enjoy the whole process. So why don't we get into it? All right, so this is my Premiere Pro timeline. Again, it's only like eight seconds long, so it's not long at all. But I did want the edit to be able to play in a loop. So in order to check that, you have to click this button right here, loop playback. If you don't have that button, just go to the plus sign, find it here, drag it down, and you're good to go. That makes it so that when you play it, it'll go to the very beginning and just keep playing continuously. But now the first step that I would take when starting an edit is finding a good song or a good chunk of a song. I usually go for the drops because it's the most like energetic and dynamic part of the song. So I found this and I want to mention why I chose this one in particular because this section right here, the song has kind of a disorganized or chaotic little sound. I don't even know what instrument it is, but here, check it out. So you see how it's kind of like, I guess, I don't know if it's like a organ, like a piano. Yeah, I guess it is, maybe. But as you can see, I kind of match the edit to have the needles or the towers not really aligned, especially the ones in the middle. Right here, they're kind of just piled on top of each other. And the way I did that was just multiply the image, but here in blend mode under opacity, you just go to darken. But it's fun to play with the other ones like light and Know, color dodge see the one I'm manipulating right now is this one but again I kept them all at darken I also made sure to have the images come in at separate times again to match the sound so that's one of the main reasons why I chose this sound but let's go to the very beginning of the edit so I divided it into four sections so pretty much here we have the number one number two number three edit, and number four so let's start in the very beginning very first frame as you can see it has no needle and that's because I went into Photoshop I took out the tower because I'm a big fan of flickering in like an image or a video so in order to do that you have to have a noticeable difference which is why I took out the tower and then every one or two frames here you go I put in the tower and that's just kind of like the whole intro to the edit. I think it's worth it, you know, going into Photoshop and going the extra mile and manipulating the image or, or video just to have the effect have its full potential. Um, I don't know. I'm a big fan of the flashing in effect. So now here's the second edit. I already kind of talked about this again. It goes with the song kind of chaotic. I just multiplied the same tower four times and then here just a little beat. Um, as you can see, I cut it here in order to scale this up so that it kind of like punches up with the, with the little beat. And then here, and there just multiplied the tower, one on each side. That's why you see these in, in pairs and it goes with the beats. And at the end, there's gonna be another kind of like commotion, organ, whatever instrument it is, sound. So the endings are all different because I, I didn't want them to all disappear at once because you know the, that little section of the sound isn't just one like hard beat. It's kind of like a dring. So yeah, I, I try to mimic it. <laughs> so that's why I kind of had it differently. So they all like kind of like disappear like in a line like randomly a little bit. And this is the last edit. When trying to loop a sound, you want the ending to again match the beginning so it's smooth but sometimes that's not possible. And as you can hear in this clip, it's, it's a little bumpy. So in order to kind of match the bumpiness and make it a little bit more natural, the sound I mean, I matched these titles of, you know, Berlin, the location of the image to the bumpiness and check it out. I'll go again, it's a little subtle, but. So again, the drums are kind of like random and it's not the best cut but sometimes you just gotta work with it. And again, I really like the song, so I'm pretty happy with the edit. And 
yeah the last thing is an adjustment layer because even though i did edit these pictures already and you know they have more contrast and my whole style already i do want them to be brighter so i'm gonna mute the adjustment layer so you can see the difference so muted so it's a little darker so i just brightened it up a little bit with lumetri and i applied the lumetri effect to the adjustment layer and then i just stretched it over the whole edit so that's it guys i strongly suggest that everyone watching this video try it out grab a photo follow the steps and if you have any questions you can always contact me or anyone at the pexos team and we'll help you out let me know what you guys want to see in following videos if you like this one if it helped you out yeah thanks for watching see you guys in the next one